everybody just wanted to show you the progress I made on installing the 20 watt laser module from Ortor onto the laser master 3 I went ahead and did the modifications and installed that little OUC board internally to the frame uh, the front of the frame and like as you can see you, you know the you don't see the board anywhere so it, it is mounted internally and uh, I just wanted to do a quick demo showing that the 20 watt module uh, it does work and then with the modification I did um, I'm still able to use the 10 watt uh, laser module as well I left the cable in here so I velcroed everything all the wires here so when I want to switch over to use this 10 watt um, all I have to do is undo the velcro and uh, undo the connector here put the 10 watt connector in its place and then plug the 10 watt connector into the, the module so I'm gonna do a quick just turning it on just to, to show that it does work so this is the the 20 watt here and I'll go ahead and just turn it on real quick low power just test fire just to show it's it's turning on so as you can see it's or as you can hear it's on and uh, the laser dots at the bottom there you probably won't be able to see the laser dot but it's on so I'll turn that off so the laser's off and the fans still are on for a while after the laser turns off and I only have this at 0.25% power um, so the, the same kind of power you would use to line it to line you know your work work up so I'll let that stop there all right so that shut off and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch the wires here so now running the 10 watt module so that's plugged in there and then I'll put this right here and then I'll go ahead and turn this guy on too so that's on there and I'll turn that off so you can see the, the dots on just showing or the lights on there so I'll let those that fan spool down um, so anyways yeah I just want to do a quick uh, demo on you know showing that I it is possible to install that OUC internally to the system and still have the capability to run the 10 watt module and also you know and the 20 watt module like this to, to swap them out um and it didn't i didn't have a bunch of crazy wiring here um i did have to use some custom or not custom some special connectors um for for the installing it but um, yeah, it didn't. I don't have that board anywhere on the side or anything. It's all mount. It's all installed internally to the to the front of the frame. So, um, so yes, subscribe to the the channel. Um, make sure you get like the reminders on because I'll have the installation of that board uh, coming up soon. Like I said, I just have to uh, edit the video and then get it posted. So, anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys checking this video out and um, yeah just know that there's you it can be done um, you kind of have to be a tinkerer to, to do it it's not probably for everybody to be honest um, you do have to have some special tools and stuff so if, if you already have those tools or if you're looking to yeah you know get into tinkering and, and modifications then then this is for you but if if you're really not um, interested in that I guess or worried you're gonna uh, damage it you don't have that much experience with it um, I would probably stay away from it because you can if you cross some of the the wires uh, you can damage the unit um, 
and then you're out whatever you know 500 or, or 700 dollars for the module and then if you need a new control board i i looked those control boards up and i think they're like about 130 bucks or something so it's not for everybody but if you're careful and you take your time um you could do it so anyways appreciate you guys checking this out and uh like i said stick around or, or stay tuned for the the next video thanks